In this design challenge, you are going to build a long wing that can span a gap, inspired by the wings of the phantom eye. For some help, let's meet an engineer. Hi, my name is Elaine and I'm an engineer at Boeing. Before you start building, what are some concepts we can explore to help us build a long wing? The three main uh, engineering concepts that we're going to be talking about is load, load paths, and drag. Great, so let's start with load. We can think of load as how much the force of gravity pulls a plane down toward the Earth. The heavier the plane is, the more gravity pulls it down. Gravity is a force, and we can think of a force as a push or pull. The forces acting on the wings while in flight are gravity, lift, and drag. Gravity is pulling the aircraft down towards the Earth. Lift is pushing it up and helping it fly and drag is pushing against the wing when it's moving forward. The balancing of all these forces is important when designing aircraft. So if we pretend that there's a force of gravity pushing me down at the center of, of my body, at the center of the fuselage of the airplane, and there's a force of lift pushing up at my wing, somehow those two forces have to find each other, so this one's pushing down, this one's pushing up, those have to find each other in order to cancel each other out. This is when we can think about load paths. And a load path is just how that load moves through a structure. Let's look at an example. The wings of the phantom eye are long and thin and pretty heavy, and they experience gravity, drag, and a lot of lift during flight. All of these forces put stress or strain on the wings. So engineers have designed struts on each wing, which are like short connectors that connect the wings to the body. The struts provide support to the wing and help relieve the stress by spreading out the forces so it is not all in one spot. As the load follows its path, the forces are distributed through the whole plane. This way there isn't too much force in one part of the plane and the forces are spread out evenly. In order to make your wing stable, you are going to have to think about how to distribute the weight of your wing to make it stable while being also aerodynamic to minimize drag. These concepts need to work together to hold up your phantom eye. So one of the things you could do is try to go even longer. We tried for two feet in this design challenge. What if you're trying for three feet or four feet or five feet? That would be incredible. Or one of the other things you could do is what happens to your design if suddenly you have to carry a weight? And remember, if at first it doesn't work, please don't be afraid to, to redesign and try again and learn from what you're doing because sometimes the, the experiment space that we create in our mind doesn't quite get all the physics right. So uh, testing something out and, and testing it again and learning from it is really important. Do you want to build your own long spanning wing inspired by the phantom eye? Check out the activity on Curiosity Machine.